I hate all of you. What's up, guys? Cedric here from TVB and coming to you today with my friend, Mr. Budget, the cheapest person in the whole entire world. Damn straight. He's here with his uh, premium, deck. which is trash. And I hope you guys enjoy. I'm sorry, it's 1 1. It's 1 1. You don't want. I'm, that's why I posted both the videos so okay. you see the aspect. How, okay. how about you break? Okay. So he's here today with his premium glossy deck for all you Grant Blue Pirate Undead lovers here. So take it away, boy. All right, so we're going to start with the grade threes and work our way down and then eventually get to the G zone. So we're playing four copies of Beatrice. Uh, best grade three in Grand Blue, in my opinion. So on plates, Vanguard or Rearguard. So that's one called anything other than herself from drop zone to Rearguard circle. Uh, Vanguard skill. She has all Ghosties intercept and plus 5k power, plus 5k shield. So really all around very good protect. You really want to use protect 2 for the deck because you have your Ghosties on board and they can intercept from anywhere. So you have your heal triggers, but you're going to see eventually it's also a Ghostie so that can guard for 25, 35k shield. Next we're going to go to our other grade 3. You say three copies of Ghosty Leader Dimitri, uh, Demetria. This was the original Ghost Leader. Uh, on play, Soul Blast, two ghosts, so it looks for their species. Mill your deck until you hit a grade one. If the grade one is a ghosty, it goes to your hand. All the other cards that you mill go to the drop zone. So this, this can fill your drop zone very fast. This is a going first option. Beatrice is the going second option. Our next grade three, we played two copies of um, Mighty Rogue Nightstorm. Nightstorm is our extender hollow ability. So if you guys don't know what the hollow ability is, it's when it plays on rear guard from the drop zone. Uh, at the end of the turn, if it's in hollow state, it goes back to the drop zone. Uh, GB1, when it attacks, counter blast one. Superior call a unit from the drop zone in a circle that he does not occupy. And he's just a, an extender. There's a loop between Beatrice and Nightstorm that... This calls this out, this call at the end of the battle, this will call this out, this calls this out, so you just keep it going back, back and forth. The last grade three that we play, of course, well not the last one, but we play two copies of Skull Dragon, which has here to be a really, really big beat stick at the end of the loop. And our final grade three, we play one copy of Night Mist. This is here for the bad bounty play, so when you re-ride in you ride Night Mist. Starting to bad bounty and then rewrite Beatrice. You get to call two out, Beatrice calls your third out, that way you can continue your loop cycle. Those are all of our grade threes. Next we're gonna go into our grade twos. We play one copy of Jesse, one copy of uh, Cannoneer, one copy of King Serpent. So this is our soul charge counter charge. This is our denial griffin play, and this is also helping us to uh, counter charge during the battle. We play three copies of Green Shade. This is our grab anything from um, deck and mill two, add anything back. So this is to literally help us fix our ride turns if we're missing our grade threes or whatever. And then we play four uh, Pirate Swordsman um, Column Bar. This literally just pulls anything out of the deck and then you're able to summon anything out of your drop. So this is immediately get anything onto the field that you want. So we play four of it. Going into the grade ones, three copies of Tommy, three copies of Damien, and four copies of Barf. Barf is our grade one of Ghosty PG, so we play the grade one PG because it's a good ride target, and on top of that, uh, it's a Ghosty. All of our grade ones are excellent ride targets. This one uh, allows you to draw an extra card, put a card from your hand to drop. This allows you to move any ghost from your main deck to your drop, and this allows you to search for your grade three. So we, since we have a plethora of grade threes, you're more likely to hit it. Finally, we're going to the grade zeros. We have our V starter, our normal, our other starter. This allows us at the end when we're in hollow to when retreat, counter charge too. So there's a lot of counter charge in this deck. Four heals, four strike crit. Four go into soul plus 10k. Three into soul, draw one card, and one over trigger. So there's a lot of crits. So we're, we're aiming to end the game as early as possible. That's it for the main deck. We're going to go into the G zone. 
We play two great, great Emperor Obadiah. This allows us to filter out our deck for five cards every time. And then for every card face up in the G zone, we're allowed to bring back two. So the first stride you're going to go into, you're going you're gonna to resurrect two, and then so on and so forth. We play the one Obadiah King if we don't have any counter blasts. That way we can call something. These four are flip fodder. So by the time you have to go into her, you should have all three of her face up. Then when she goes into her ability, for every face up card, you get to resurrect uh, one card from your drop zone with all the grace equaling four, and then she gets all their or base powers as her power. <coughs> one bad bounty. We will also play one Barfmalu. We play the new <laughs> stride unit for Grand Blue. I haven't had a chance to really test this yet. One, two, three, four, five G Guardians. We have the new one. I haven't had a chance to test this out. Uh, sorry, new one. I haven't had a chance to test this out. This gets really big. This helps us now Griffin. This makes sure that you have a perfect guard in your G zone. And like I said before, this is all protect too. Okay, so great. So that is the entirety of the Ghosty deck. Uh, I will be testing out the new stride, the new uh, G Zone units when I have another time to test this out. So if you guys like what you saw, please leave a comment down below. Please like, subscribe. Uh, any questions? Yeah. So how do you feel about Ghosty against uh, Narukami? Get him off. Okay, get on my face. <laughs> Narukami needs to be hit. We all know it needs to be hit. It's going to get hit. It's not going to get banned. It's going to get banned. It needs to be hit. The dating, yeah, okay, you know what? Let's, comment down below if, if you think Sunverse is going to get banned or not. If Sunverse gets banned completely, I will give you 30 bucks. Bet. So you guys heard it here. Comment down below. We'll keep you posted. If Sunverse gets banned July 8th, I get $30. And we're actually, I know what, even better, we, are we going to record it? Sure, we'll record it. We will, we will record Cedric's live reaction to Stunt Birds getting banned. When's it supposed to come out? July 8th. July 8th. All right, bet. All right, guys, so, the, so you heard it here, you heard it here first, so he can't go back on it. I never go back on my words. Okay, that is the Ghosty deck. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, please like, subscribe, and we will see you guys later. Peace.